Ah, apparently it helps if you switch your microphone on. That old thing. Right, this is part two. If you haven't seen part one, go and look at part one, because then part two will make no sense. Unless you want a shortcut. And the shortcut being that we looked at this TV, which is the Panasonic 40X400B. Um, I didn't really want to stick a brand new set of backlights in. I was rather hoping there were just one or two gone, and I was going to keep it for a... Uh, monitor or something like that or flog it cheap that was the plan uh, but when we looked into it we realized that there were several LEDs that had failed on this um, I'm thinking seven or eight maybe more and also of course the little plastic supports the screen supports um, are always brittle on these and you can't fix them so I had to make a choice of either leave it or go for it <laughs> and we've decided to go for it we found some backlights and we found some screen support they're called support pillars if you need to know and there they are the supports are in that bag and the backlights are in there so we will now um, i'll take this well i haven't got the screws in it so it should come apart very easily. But of course it doesn't. I didn't plug anything back in. I wonder why I didn't plug anything back in. I must have really made my mind up that I am going to support it. I, I support it, repair it, I suppose. That must have been the plan all along. How weird. Anyway, um, it means that we can take the screen off again. I would have tucked these back in for safety, so... One of these being really awkward. I hate these things. <clears throat> Thank you. And now that's got caught on a bit of tape. Has it? Yeah, of course.
So if you need to know details of what screen is inside here and all the app lava, please go and watch part one, which is a couple of videos back. But at least it means now that I can take out these old backlights and not worry about the old screen supports. Just whip them out. I don't know about the quality of these new screen supports. Um, to be honest, not really bothered about the quality. As long as they go in, that's it. She won't be planning on taking them out again. But we'll have a look. I gather that I, I think the screen supports that I'm putting in will probably be um, made by a 3D printer, I suppose. But that, you know, good. At least we get some. This was always a problem with this and the 48 inch version. But luckily our backlights are available for both. Uh, if you're watching this because you've got the same TV, either the 40 or the 48, uh, and you want backlights and screen supports, just get in contact with me. And I will show you how to do that. Anyway. So let's just twist a broken one out here. <laughs> just terrible, aren't they? See if you can save any of them, Al. No, smash them all up, Al. Smash them all up. You know you want to. Terrible. They're actually breaking. Um, you can probably notice that I'm not putting that much pressure on them and they're coming away with my fingertips. Apart from this one. They've obviously just gone brittle with the heat of the uh, LEDs. But these are the only ones that do this. So whatever they've made these with obviously plastic but not the best anyway almost out There's probably a better way of getting these out, even the broken ones. But to be honest with you, I was in the mood for a bit of destruction. Now I'll have to get a brush and tidy up. <laughs> Always something.
sort of the screen supports we've got those lovely little clips around the edge lovely I mean just super you may be able to tell <laughs> it's not that I'm not in the mood for this but Probably I'm not in the mood for it. But I have to get this done. I've got a busy day tomorrow. Somebody now wants this TV. Somebody got in contact with me today and said it would be perfect if I had a 40 inch smart TV. And I thought, oh well, in a way I have. All right. Got four of those clips out. There's four along the bottom row and I can't see any of them. Oh, I can see one here. Would you believe they've put clips under the brackets? Didn't we say this the other day? Oh, that was on the Hitachi. So I've got to take four screws out just to take a clip out. Luckily you don't have to take the screws out to put them back. And again on this side, and there's going to be one under the T-con, isn't there? Of course there is. We did test all of these backlights just in case you didn't watch part one. I went through it strip by strip, and every strip had a failure of at least one LED out. I think some had two or three. I've got to take six screws out. Oh no, there's no clip. I didn't have to take those out. I knew that, because I've just taken it out there. So why I'm taking the screws out is because I'm tired. I think that's my problem, I'm tired. But I will, I'll feel a lot better if I get this one done tonight. I don't want to, well, I've got two to do tomorrow, which is Sunday. Monday is technically a day off, but what do I do on my day off? I tend to drive around, go somewhere nice for lunch, um, and pick up some TVs. Usually pick up a couple ready to repair for later on in the week. I just seem to have a lot of TVs for myself to repair at the moment. I usually kind of repair three to one ratio of three customers' TVs to one for me. But it seems to be three for three at the moment. It's a good town to be in this business. So wherever you are watching, I bet you on your Facebook marketplace there are a lot of faulty televisions, te televisions with blue screens, television with backlight problems. There's some extra beer money to be made to help for your energy funds this year. And next.
do think about it. Especially if you've been into TV repairs before, there's a lot of people that watch these videos, people that used to repair TVs from, you know, decades ago, like me old boss. But they've got out of it, thinking that everything has changed. Well, it has. I would say it's a little bit more simplified these days. But I will get told off for saying such things. Right. One more clip. There's three, and there's going to be one more, which is just here. Ah, it's just hiding behind some tape, Mrs. Right. Is that all the clips? I think it is. Bit of tape holding this bit down. It's nice to know they haven't glued that down. So here we go, we've got five strips. Well, let's have a look at the... Where did you put the backlights? Um, for those that want to know, £65 is the price for 14 support pillows and a complete brand new set of backlights. So if you're interested in any, I bought loads of them. Don't mind selling some on if you want some. They are £65. That includes the support pillows for the 40 inch. The 40... 8 inch, or is it 49? I can't remember. Will obviously be slightly more. But if you want some, just shout. Give me your details. And I'll get some on the way. To you. I don't know why I bought so many. I think I bought so many because I've done so many of these repairs, but then I decided I stopped doing it. It's one of those TVs I said, no, I'm not going to repair anymore. But that was because the backlights weren't available or were very expensive and the screen supports weren't available. But now they are. Done plenty of the 48s, never done a 40. So, since I've never done this TV before, I really should be showing a lot more enthusiasm. It's, it's been a long day. They all look identical. I don't think there's any difference in the 40s, that all the strips are the same. All AC type, yeah. I mean, some of these are different. Well, they're labeled different, but they're not. I mean, that's an A type, and that's a C type, and that's an A type, and that's an A type, but they're all exactly the same. I can't, C type is absolutely no different to the A type. What's the point? Apart from it just says C type, unless there's something these all say a C type. Yeah. So I don't understand that. Seems a bit daft to me.
lost the lens. lost lots of lenses. I will keep some of these lenses because I don't have any and you never know in one day that just having a few of them around may come in handy. But the backlight, backlight themselves can go straight in the bin. One more strip to get out. Right, let's put the new ones in. There are some feeding holes, so no excuses for not being in a straight line. I was just having a look at the contacts because you know how some of Vestel's contacts go dirty. Well, these are, and you can probably see, I haven't gone close up, but these are, I wouldn't say immaculately clean, but they're clean. Clean. Very clean, especially, especially if you've seen, seen some of those videos I've done with the Vestels that the backlights fail and then come back on and then fail again and then come back on. Well, it's, it's the contacts. And when you have a look at the contacts on some of the other Vestels, they're filthy. But I'm sure you've seen that video because I made about five of them.
<laughs> this TV was made just before Vestel invested in a lot more apps. This will only have the basic apps. It will have YouTube, it will have Netflix, it will have iPlayer. I don't think it will have Prime. And I don't think it's got BritBox or anything like that. The newer, the later ones, which, well, I say the later ones. I mean, this TV is now going to be, what, six years old, seven years old? The ones just after this, Festel suddenly realised that they really have to up their game on the apps. As did a lot of TV companies at that particular time. They were all trying to just get away with doing the basic. Right, new backlights in. Make sure the clips are free. We'll have a look at these, shall we? Nothing special. Let's put these in first. I'm going to be very gentle putting these in. Well, they're okay, they're not a... Can you tighten them up? No. Okay. I suppose you could add a bit of glue if you wanted to. What do you think? I mean, they look a lot better, but they're a loose fit. Does it matter when the screen's on top pressing down? Possibly not. Dog's getting excited again. The last thing I want is one rattling around. If I make sure they're all turned up to 12 o'clock, or six o'clock. They're not going to come out. And of course, don't forget, there's going to be the pressure, the weight of the screen pushing them in. But they, they do move. But I don't care. all these little clips back in I 
and then we'll power up and test. That's it. Well, I'm waiting for them to come on. Ah, and indeed they do. Pretty. Let's just see. I'm just going to do a slight test here because on the 48, once you knew where the backlights were, and you put the TV back together again, you could always see you could always see through the screen and see them. So I'm going to see how transparent they are just with these sheets on here. Right, let's switch on again. Oh. I am switched on. But I am plugged because I'm safety conscious. Let's just see if any of them come through. Might not come through the camera, but no, none. Absolutely none. That is a nice, evenly lit. You can't tell on that mono, on that screen you're looking at here, that on that angle. But if I if I swap them over, nice and evenly lit. Let's put the TV back together then and see what apps it has. Or see if it works. Don't forget, I haven't seen a picture on this yet.
What I don't want to hear now as I tip it over is the sound of screen supports going clink, clink, clink. But I think we're going to be okay. Just a friendly reminder, if you have any silver screws left over once you've um, got to the stage of repairing something, I think all, all my silver ones, ones have gone. gone. Just, Just the back, back cover screws now. now. But, but if, if you, you have, have any left over, it, it will be because you've put this silver strip on the bottom, which is a little plastic strip that's got the IR sensor in it. Um, but there are more screws behind that. So if you found you've got four over, four or five over, um, you would have forgotten to stick some in there first before clipping this other bit on. But apart from that, if you haven't, then you're on the way to getting it working again. Hopefully, we haven't plugged it in yet. Remember, I've never seen this working. Um, but I've no reason to believe it's got a damaged screen. But I suppose now's the time to find out, isn't it? I have got everything plugged in, or I believe I've got everything plugged in, apart from the mains lead. Switch some lights off. And we'll see what this TV wants to do. I'm not getting a red light, but then again, I'm not switched on. Now I am getting a red light. Backlights are up. And there's the picture. But we do have a line. We do have a little line, I'm afraid. I thought I saw a little line. I thought I saw a little line. Can't be helped. You do your best. Let me stick some batteries in this and just see. I thought I saw a line. It could have been something else, but I don't think it was. Now, that line could have been there before, because remember I was given this TV. So but it, it could have been a result of taking the screen out. If it has got a line, I will show it to you, but I think I saw something very fine line Let's just see what happens when I press. Right, it says no tinternet access. Yeah, there's definitely a line there. Just there. Very fine. I doubt you can see it on the camera. I will um, set up 
That's a shame. It'll become a... A camera for me. A camera? A TV to use as a monitor. Um, installation. Well, might as well do a first time installation. How disappointing. Just wiping all of its settings at the moment and then bringing everything back on. Oh yes, it has, it's got a line down there which is, I was just about to say it's gone, it's not there, but it is. So I'm no better off where I was before. Setup. Network, internet settings, wired device. Yes. And it says it's connected. So let's just see what we've got in the way of smart. I mean, I can't see the line there at all. Oh, I can. I can see a, a line here. It's very thin. It's one of the thinnest lines I've ever seen. But it is. Let me just show you where it is. It's going up there. Let me show you. If you look at the word contacting, right next to the G, you'll see the line, which kind of goes down. But very thin. But too thin for me, or too fat for me to sell. Again, it's impossible to see the line there. My God, we've got iPlayer, Netflix, YouTube. Now I can see the line. As I said, it could have been there before. Because this TV was gifted to me, as we say in the trade. But apart from that, we got it working.
and that line is so thin it really is not noticeable it's only noticeable right at the bottom looks very noticeable there doesn't it but I am zoomed right in but as soon as you come out But it is a line and it could get worse in time. It could. But I'll still be able to sell that with that line, I think. It'll be cheap, but I'll still be able to sell it. I'll get my money, as long as I get my money back for the, the cost of the backlights. I can't see the line now. But anyway, it's repaired, kind of. It goes to prove that it can be done. Um, I don't really have much luck with these TVs. These are the 48 inch, there's always something. Good picture quality though, as we always say with Vestel. Vestel's 4K picture quality is um, rather impressive, especially the colors. But I will continue to put this back together.